All right, so these buttons are now working, are, are now look pretty. Now let's make them function. Okay, so we're gonna go to the timeline here. We have the buttons on one layer, that's fine. Um, you could make them each on their own layer, but really they're not gonna be animated, so we don't need to worry about that. We just want them to exist for the entirety of it. Okay, I'm gonna back this thing up. All right, you can middle mouse button, by the way, too, if you don't wanna hold space bar. Oh, my space bar does work. Sometimes it doesn't work. Um, okay, so uh, I got these buttons here. I want that when I hit play, it plays the thing. Okay pretty straightforward. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to write some JavaScript. I'm going to turn this off too. Uh, we're going to write some JavaScript. So uh, to do that, you can hit F9 or go to window and actions. Okay. Which it's a bad name for it now because I think that kind of was relevant back when, you know, other things. But anyway, so what we want to do is we're going to go right here and we can start, start writing some scripts, right? You don't know how to do that. So uh, I'm going to try, I generally try to have, try to utilize what the software gives you. So to just start writing out, you could totally do that, but I think it would be confusing. So what we're going to do is this, we're going to use what we call um, the, uh, what's that called? The component uh, code snippets. Click on the code snippets. Yeah. Can I snap this in there? If I could, that'd make things easier. No, it doesn't want to do it. Acts like it would. Nah, it's not doing it. Okay. So these are the code snippets. Now, what you're going to notice is they are divided into two sections. We have action script and we have HTML5 canvas. Which one do you think we're using? Yeah. Uh, so this is valid if we're doing action script. Um, the other one's obviously valid if we're doing canvas. Okay. Just make sure if you do the wrong one, it's going to give you all sorts of errors and be weird. Okay. So what I want to do is everything I'm doing right now is I just want to do play and stop whatever reset right so all of that if you think about it is timeline navigation notice that these are basically kind of broken into sections so i'm just going to expand the timeline navigation and we just want to stop at this frame i'm just going to choose the frame we want to stop at frame one so i'm going to click on frame one here and then all you have to do is just double click stop at this frame okay what you're going to see is let me expand this a little bit hopefully it will show it there we go actions frame one so now it's showing the actions that are currently attached to frame one you'll see it automatically created a layer for us called actions and let me click off you'll see uh there's a blank keyframe and has a little a and that just means that there is code attached to that most of the time what you're going to see when you create interactive stuff is you usually just want to put it on that first frame and then that way it'll be valid for as long as you know there isn't anything impeding it okay so um, if we click on that, you'll see it says stop this frame. Now, let me just show you what that's going to look like there. It's not, so I'm going to get rid of, um, this stuff here is just saying what it does. These are comments. We don't really need those. I think they're just adding more stuff. Um, okay. So, uh, so it's actions frame one, and then it says this and then stop. So this refers to what this is attached to. In that case, it would be, uh, more or less the stage here, the timeline. Um, so this, and then this is a method and it just says dot stop. All right. Okay. We're going to get more into what coding is later on, but for now, just know that that's what that's doing. Now, if I go ahead and preview this, you're going to see somewhat of an issue. And that's because, um, it's starting, uh, that is a symbol and it's on the frame one. So what that means is if you look, the animation is on frame one. So if I took the rest of this out it uh, and just remove, sorry, not this one, right here. If I took the rest of this out, um, it's still going to play the animation because the animation is on frame one. So uh, when I do stop, it's actually not going to do what you think it's going to do, as you can see there, right? So what we're going to do is this. I'm going to, um, can I do this? Oh, that's helpful. And then I'll just move this over here. Let's, can I do this too? Good. We're going to put these both over here. And then... Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to fix this here. So just so you can see that it's working, uh, we're just going to move the animation over one frame. Okay. So I'm going to back this thing up. Okay. That didn't help. I'm going to click on this, the first frame. I'm going to go all the way to the end. I'm going to hold shift, click on the last frame. And I'm just going to go yeah, one frame over. Okay. Is that one frame? Yeah. So now you'll see there's a blank keyframe and then there's the animation. Okay. And I think it would be nice to actually draw a square that is the same as this. But to do that, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to grab this. I'm going to go to the background. I'm going to control C to copy it. I'm going to back up, back out. I'm going to go to frame one. I'm going to hit control shift V. 
and unfortunately it's scaled to the original so that doesn't entirely work so we're going to make that smaller i'm going to put it up here oops control plus minus and we are going to put on onion skinny sorry it just bothers me i'm gonna snap it i'm gonna hold alt and shift so i can just drag just the one side good okay i'm gonna turn onion skinny back off and that way there's at least a blank it's a little bit off it's gonna bother me but we'll leave it for now because there's other things to be done all right so now it says stop at this frame and the animation actually starts on the second frame okay so that's that's what we that's all we were after now if we preview this you will see voila nothing's happening right because it's just showing that first frame these still don't do anything but we've stopped it okay now what i want to do is i want to attach a script to this okay so to do that um, we have to use something called an instance name. And the reason why we have to do that is that we need to tell the code that specifically I want it to be attached to this button. Because this is a symbol, right? And if you recall, I can put as many of these as I want. And who's to say that this one should play? And who's to say that this one should play? And who's to say that this one should pay, play? So what we want to do is we want to attach it to this one specifically. So to do to attach code to something specifically, you have to make an instance name. It's not going to use um that symbol name so i'm just going to call it play <laughs> even though the symbol's called play button uh we'll hit enter please enter oh because that's a uh we'll call it play button there we go call it play button all right basically we couldn't put play because it's a reserved word all right so play button that'll be the name of it all right and uh we'll go ahead and we'll just name these ones too while we're at it we'll call this one oops stop button and we will call this one um, replay button. Great. Okay. So um, that all looks fine. All right. So what we want to do is that when we hit this button, that uh, it's going to know that it's play button and it's going to do its thing. So let's open up actions. Let's open up the, I guess we'll have to take this apart. Well, that's kind of lame. There we go. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. So um, what we want to do is you have to first select the object that we want to attach the script to. I'm going to go over here, and you'll see on any timeline navigation, we have stop at this frame. We already used that. And then there was, where's the play? There is no play. There's click to go to frame and play. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on that one. And now what you're going to see is I'm going to get rid of the stuff here, although you can read it if you'd like. Boom, boom. Okay. What you're going to see it says this play button that was the remember that's the instance name it's going to add an event listener um and that event listener is going to listen for a click meaning when we click on it and when it gets clicked it has this handler and this handler is fl click to go to frame and play uh from frame dot bind this and that is this here so this function name is the same as that so basically when it hears a click it's going to run this function and this is the function it's going to run and this function runs whatever is between these two braces. So right now it says this, go to and play, and it says uh, frame five, which means it's actually going to jump to the fifth frame and then play. Now, I already know this. Um, I'm going to take out that five. We could put um, two, right? So I think frame two is where it starts. Um, but this is actually action script, so actually it should be one. Um, but what we're going to do is not do anything for that. And we're actually going to remove the go to and play and just do this dot play. You want to know how I figured that out? I just guessed one day and I'm like, oh, yeah, play makes sense. So it's just this dot play now. Uh, so go ahead and put that in there instead. And we'll hit control enter. And when I go over here, you'll see when we hit play, it plays the animation. Yay. Isn't that great? OK. And it's doing its thing. All right. So, um, we're at nine minutes. All right. So what I'm going to do, is we'll fix one more thing. So you might've noticed that when we play it, um, there's no audio. So I'm going to show you why that's not working and then we'll go from there. Okay. So the reason why that's not working is this. Let's minimize these, move you guys over here. Okay. The reason why that's not working is this. If you recall when the, one of the reasons why we've been working inside of the, um, action script is that we can do this we can stream audio which is pretty sweet um so when we grab the audio you'll see that there's different options and one of them is to stream see how there's start stop stream event okay when you are inside of canvas you do not have those options so i'm gonna uh let's go to frame two here 
I go inside of here. This is what I think is weird. See how it's working? It's not supposed to work. Um, if I click on this, you actually going to switch this to event. Notice stream is not even an option. For whatever reason, it, it will actually still bring it over. This is a neat little trick that I might try next time. Um, because if I made it, if I just dragged a piece of audio clip in there, it would not even give me that as an option. But because I dragged it from over here, it didn't put it in there, which is weird. So anyway, what you want to do is change the audio here from stream to event. And what that means, now look, see, I can't even go back to stream. What that means is that it's going to take an event. Something needs to happen in order for it to operate, okay? Because this is HTML5 Canvas, it needs to be told to play, not just play. Which means if we go to preview this, even after doing that little bit there, um, it still is not going to do the audio, okay? So pretty lame. Okay. Now, um, we do have an event, right? So I'm hitting play. But because that event happens out here, it doesn't work inside of here. So what I'm going to do is actually this. We're going to take the audio out of this and put it in the other scene. So I'm just going to right click on this layer and we're going to go ahead and um, I hate cutting it. We're going to cut the layer and then I'm going to right click in here and we're going to paste the layer. Now, if you look, it starts on the first frame here. So I think this is not going to work. Yeah. So it's starting on the first frame, which means that it's not, there is no event happening, right? The event happens here when I hit play. So what we're going to do is all I want you to do is take the, plus um, the animation starts on frame two. So it means it would be off anyway. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this, click, and just drag it over one, which will make a blank keyframe on the first frame. And then the animation will start, or the audio will start in the second frame. And now when we go to preview it, the audio will play. It's a weird little quirk. Oh yeah. You might notice that the audio is not quite right. Ah, none of the buttons work. Okay. The reason why it's not working is if you look at the original, um, the original project, we are running 12 frames per second. And then in this one, we're running 24 frames per second. So let's fix that too. I'm going to have nothing selected. Um, I'm just going to change this to 12. And let's preview that and make sure that works correctly. There we go. It's a little bit off, though. Um, I think that's just because of the uh, uh, the translation there. Okay, so um, what we should do is save it. I haven't saved it at all. So I'm going to save it in a second. Uh, what I want you to do uh, is we will then continue on and we will do the stop button and the replay button probably on the next one.